Hey everyone, it's uh, me again, uh, Dog. Um, I'm going to be running the jet in some Splatoon. Uh, I've got quite a cool set. I'm running, it's just very sub and special oriented. Special saver. Uh, yeah, this one for the sub weapon and strength to make it a 99 uh, damage. So you can possibly kill in three shots in some lucky situations. Just grab some turf war. Um, yeah. Uh. So how's everyone's week going? Great. Uh, as you know, I like to push left um, with Splash Wars as well. You can play very defensively on the left side. Oh, there are only three players, so this might be a little bit campy. Anyway, I'm happy to tell you a story. So, today we were um, having a, a bit of an assignment due, and you had to present one week and then the next week you had to ask some questions. Oh, it looks like they're not going to play. I'll be a dickhead. Good fun. So, we're asking some questions. Uh, and there was the kidneys. And the, the little woman goes up to me. It's like, oh, can you please ask some really easy questions? And I'm like, yeah, man, no, no worries. Uh, absolutely. So I'll just ask some basic ones on the function and stuff. And she's like, oh, thank you so much. And um, anyway, it comes to it. And he's like, oh, any questions? He's like, absolutely. And I say, oh, so in what what's the effect of aldosterone on kidney function in terms of water conservation? Which is... A pre oh, fuck me. Which is a pretty difficult question, you know. Oh, very specific. I'll give it that. Um, it's great because I get the mark for asking a question regardless if it's hard or easy. But she only gets the mark if she gets it right. So it's a win-win for me. But, yeah, it's alright. Oh yeah, so this set, Tenacity, just to get more special, uh, Ink Saver, um, for your Splash Wall so you can get them up real quick, um, and Ink Recovery, so you have more ink after you go walling about. Let's do some trick shots. Come here, bitch. Uh, oh, well, fuck. The jet's a four hit kill, and it's got the fire rate of a 52. So, the fact that I was able to trade is like, you know, pretty good. It's not for kills, this weapon, it's for turf. There you go. Uh, but we should be alright. Yeah, there were a player down, so it's not really fair, so we'll get another one. Yeah, in my opinion, the vanilla jet are far superior over the custom jet. Although it's, um, you know, Kraken is great, Burst Bomb is great. It doesn't have any of that. It's got the walls and Ink Strike. Um, you play to its strengths a lot more, I feel, instead of covering its weaknesses. Um, 
you know, you're, you're essentially like a bento. Just chill where the bentos are, just ink. And ink strikes to help you tame. Um, and rig, just classic, go for the top. That's the choke. If you hold the choke, you hold the game. They have 252s. So, we're going to struggle getting to the top quickly. Especially because we have a bamboozler and, uh, whatever the hell, nozzle nose. We're going to really... Str oh, we're already here. Never mind, they must be retarded. Yeah, you can definitely see the range coming in. Yeah, not strong enough. Anyway. We definitely have this going. And whatever. I'm not into that silliness. Whatever he's doing. Nice. He's going to come from the top. Yeah, so this is the choke. Just chuck a splash wall down, then it forces them out, these ones. But, you know, if you have anything with range, you're hunky dory. Our bamboozler seems to be on it pretty well. It seems pretty good. Um, yeah, and then this last 30 seconds, you get one person to hang back here and just chill. And uh, while well, the other teams go get the... What the fuck is that? That's not hitting anybody. Yeah, the last person just goes for that. They push it? I see him up there. Anyway. This map's dangerous because as soon as one person starts going, they all follow. So a lot of times, you just leave this all open for them to just come and ink. It's always good to have... Come on. There we go. He's got the right idea. Come on. Nice. He's running along the side. I'll strike him in a bit. I think he's here. Let's give it a go. There we go. Come here. Fuck. Yeah, that's the 52. Incredible uh, kill time. Two hit kills. Well, fast fire rate. Uh, I'm not going to jump to my bamboozler. I don't trust him. I could help him out, but, you know, I'm not aggressive. I'm very defensive. And we'll just make sure we get that. Yeah, that should be enough to bag the win. Um, hopefully the audio on this one's a bit better. Alright. Oh, they're all played down as well. This is cheap. Uh, I'll take it. <clears throat> Sorry, puked in my mouth. <laughs> I have another story for you. Uh, start of uni, I was given um, a tree from my best friend's mum. And she said it was about, um, you know, for starting uni, it gives you... Uh, prosperity and good luck and whatever. It was a little bonsai tree. And on the way home, uh, I had it for about 10 minutes and then lost it, left it on the train, had it for 10 minutes. And, uh, you know, of course, the next day it's like, oh, how's the tree going? And I'm like, oh, yeah, fabulous. Jeez. Come here, you little shit. 
Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, so what I did next is um, I bought a replacement tree. I tried to match up as good as I could. And, but the pot was completely different. So you're like... Oh yeah, it's just grown heaps, you know? Yeah, I, I put put it in some fertilizer, it's having a good one. This bamboos is giving me a bloody hard time. I think it outranges me, I'm not 100% sure though. I remember it was pretty good last match. That's right, bitch. Oh. Well, that didn't work out. Didn't know there was two of them. He's defensive as well. Um, yeah, so, as a big fan of Lego, I made a Lego pot for it. And, you know, just settles the same tree. Let's chuck that in over there. I think as long as we don't blow it, we should have it. Um... That was a bit risky, but... Oh yeah, we've pushed them back heaps. These bits are really important too. For If you have any players like Rollers, they absolutely adore that. Oh, another little tip if you're a beginner. Always try and keep them at your max range, no matter what weapon it is. Nice. Um, so for me, I've got a huge range, so I've got to try and keep him there. I think he's given up. Whatever. Fuck him. Poof the cunt. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't swear. It's not the place. Maybe we'll get one more together, hey? We'll just get another little game. I'll reduce this audio a bit. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I don't know how it went. Anyway, it should be fine. We'll get another one with the jet. Oh, excuse me. Alright, funny story about one of my friends. Um, we always joke about it. We joke about that he got raped. So, he's, um... He was walking home from a party and this stranger on the street offered him a menthol cigarette which is like a mint flavored smoke and everyone's like you're a fucking idiot don't take it we weren't there though but nice um but you know he's like oh yeah I'll, I'll have a, a menthol cigarette and he he did and he took it and the person who gave us him is like oh uh, if you want it you have to come back to my apartment so he's like being a moron He's like, oh yeah, I see no problem with that. And he did, so he went back to his house. And <laughs> then apparently the, this old guy's trying to like hit on him heaps. So, um, you know, as, as, as you would expect from a creepy person in the night time. And he's like, oh, I want to leave. And then he leaves. But I don't know. I just think it's funny. Because everyone jokes that that's not how it happened and that he actually just got raped and doesn't want to talk about it. But rapes are funny like that. They should have a bamboozer or something. Help him out. 
There you go. Yeah, if you do this shit, you're a, you're a cunt. Don't do that. It's not needed. It's a dick move, and you know, it doesn't mean you're a good player. It means you're a shit cunt. Um. Oh, someone's gonna flank us. Our carbon's pretty much on it. Nice work, mate. So the ink, it sort of tells you a story of, you know, where they're going, of where they've been. Um, so if you see that, like, there's ink leading somewhere, you, you know they've been up there. Strike that. I think there's someone there. Oh, they're all being fags. Well, I think that's about it. Well, these games have been pretty uneventful, I must say. But that'll do it for today. Thanks for joining me. Uh, have a bloody good one.